All right, hey, and welcome to Underground Horror Radio here on YouTube. We're doing another unboxing. Keep knocking shit over. Things are going to change, too. I'm moving soon, I think. Pretty sure. We got a house, so we're still staying in, uh, you know, the Palm Beach area, but I need more space. So, anyway, getting rid of these. I don't want to wear them. All right, so we have a couple things today to open. Some cool stuff, including uh, this guy, Creep Show creep so I'm excited about that because creep show has been around for a long time it was a comic before it was ever a movie it's an anthology series much like tales from the crypt that kind of thing so uh, inspiration for a lot of stuff this is for the TV show though that uh, is on shutter that was brought back from uh, Greg Nicotero who did a lot of effects um, for The Walking Dead. He was in Day of the Dead. He's in, uh, he did the special effects uh, on Evil Dead 2. So, very cool. Also a huge Jaws fan. So we'll be talking about him on tomorrow's podcast because it's uh, the 3rd of July, right before the 4th of July. So, anyway, Creep's awesome. You know what? I was going to open him in a bit, but let's open him now. He's a pop, so it's not really anything too complicated. See? Done. And yeah, he's a pop, so he doesn't really move much. Except for his head, but I mean, it's a pop figure. That's what they're supposed to do. I can't move it too much, though, because there's stuff in the way, kind of. But he's got a cool, he's got the magazine right there. That's sweet. And he has this cool, like, ghostly skeleton. Much like, uh, well, this is what he looks like normally. Obviously, they, they popified it. Obviously. But that's cool. And uh, he's still very detailed. So he's very cool. It's a nice little thing to put on your desk. Or keep in the box if you happen to have a bunch of uh, Funkos that you keep in your boxes. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to open is... Now this is, this is kind of different. Uh, but I don't just have horror figures. I have like Marvel figures, Star Wars figures. You know, it's about... This whole thing now is about like fantasy, horror, sci-fi, everything. So, this is kind of an odd one. It's Japanese, based in uh, Japanese stuff, but it's also um, from the 90s, the American version. It's Power Rangers. Yes, Power Rangers had a bunch of cool monsters on it when I was growing up. Uh, kind of like uh, uh, Ultraman, you know, Godzilla stuff. Things got big, you fought them, you know. Uh, the first Megazord looked a lot like Voltron, which was kind of neat, I think. But as a kid, like, the monsters all... There were decent effects for the show. And most of it was from Japan. It was all stuff that they had footage from the Japanese versions of what Power Rangers became. And they would just dub over stuff. But the cool thing about Lord Zed, who showed up in Season 2 of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the first series, is... Well, he always looked cool to me. Even as a kid, because it basically is like if you took... It's Japanese, so it has like this Japanese look, kind of like a Giver, you know, um, or any of those with the mask. But the body is just skinless. It's just muscle, no skin, like a fucking Hellraiser. So what's cool about it, it reminds me of like a Japanese like Cenobite uh, from like Hellraiser. So I think to me, so I'm going to open them. To me, I think that is super cool because uh, as a horror fan, even though this is from a children's, uh, you know, cartoon, not cartoon, but live action series, it's still pretty awesome. Let's see, does he stand? Mm, no. His feet, his feet are weird. Like, they move, but they don't. It's like it should move more than it does. It moves like that, which is a broken ankle, if I've ever seen one, or a rolled ankle. But it doesn't... I don't know. He just won't stand straight. So, But luckily, okay, if you bend him like half over, he stands straight. That's weird. So he has to kind of walk around like a hunchback. But he does have ab-crunching ability, so he's getting his abs on. Look at that muscular body. But no, he's all skin and muscle. Look, no skin, all muscle. He's got a brain. I mean, come on, man. That's a fucking horror movie. 
And so I always liked him because he was basically uh, like a super powered, uh, you know, somebody that came back in Hellraiser uh, by adding blood to him and they just pumped him full of hoses and metal armor, kind of. Anyway, so I always thought he was cool as, as a kid because, you know, oh, I guess these things do pop off a bit. This is made by Hasbro, uh, so it's not a NECA figure which is the more expensive ones. This is just a $20 Hasbro figure. But, I mean, as far as 20 bucks go, he's very movable, you know? They're making these figures really detailed now. So he's cool, you know? He's got extra hands. He's got a cool staff. I mean, the staff looks cheap, but whatever. But he looks cool. He looks like a horror, a horror monster, kind of. So I, that's why I dig him. I mean, that's the thing about Power Rangers. They always had these monsters. And some of them looked cool, and some of them looked really dorky. And that's, you know, that's fine. But, uh, now, Lord Zed always looked badass. Like, he's going to fuck you up. Problem is, they kind of made him a wuss. And then he fell in love with Rita. It was a whole thing. All right, so those are two unboxings I did today. But we have a little bit of a, a bonus here. So, Unboxing is a pain in the ass sometimes, so I just went and opened this one because I wanted to. I don't know if I want to video it, but I found some problems with it, so I'm going to talk about it. So this is the NECA Nightmare on Elm Street New Nightmare figure. This is the cloth clothing ones. Much like the Jaws ones will be soon. Much like, uh, you know, Candyman I unboxed a while ago. Kind of like the Mezco Freddy. Or the Mecco Freddy. But, I mean, this is cool. He looks cool. He's New Nightmare, which I love. But there's a problem. So, his head does come off. And I'll show you. I'm going to take some pictures here in a minute. His head comes off, but it's kind of, like, scary. Because I'm afraid I'm going to break it. But he has this replaceable head. It's a demon head. Which is cool. He also has his uh, classic, you know, Freddy Krueger... Hat. Now, mind you, this isn't actually Freddy Krueger. It's a demon in New Nightmare that takes the guise of Freddy Krueger, that likes the stories of Freddy Krueger. So, in a way, it's it becomes Freddy Krueger. Because that movie's all meta and, and takes place in the real world, supposedly, and all that. Why is his arm moving? Weird. Oh, that's right. So, it's hard. The thing with the clothing is there's no joints saying, so you don't know what they look like. Um, so, he looks cool. And, you know, he's got the cool boots. You know, he had a trench coat. Here's the problem with the trench coat. This is the trench coat. It was separate. I mean, it came with it, but it wasn't on him already. Which is fine. The issue is, how do I get the trench coat on? Because I tried fitting this through. The hole is not big enough to get his hand through here. It wasn't shaped like this. There were no other hands that came with it. There was this, the head, and the trench coat. Which is fine. I keep trying to take the hand off because I think if you're supposed to take the hands off and then put the coat over it. But every time I do, I really honestly feel like I'm going to fucking break it. And this bad boy, I got it for a good thing for my birthday, but I'm just saying it's not, these are not normally super cheap. These go for about 30, 40 bucks. And it's great design. His hand is cool, you know. But. I'm afraid of taking out the, the hand. And it doesn't say the hand's removable. And usually these are pretty good about popping in and out. But I don't want to risk it. I mean, I love the coat. I love the coat. But I can't get it on them. So uh, I'm in some NECA groups on Facebook or whatever. But if you watch this and you have this figure, or you know that you can take off the hands, let me know. Otherwise, I've tried a couple times. They're kind of stiff in there. But I'm not not ripping it out and breaking this this, this figure. So it's not... That's not going to happen. He's cool, though. I love him. Just wish the coat would uh, would go on him. Because coat's cool. I mean, it's a long, you know, and people know me. I like coats. So it's a cool long trench coat. And he's got the uh, Freddy Krueger uh, sweater design colors in this. So anyway, that's a new nightmare. All right. So through magic of editing, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take some pictures. And it'll be like we just didn't leave. But in this case, I'll probably need to uh, put these back on. So here we go. All right, just like that. So we'll start with New Nightmare. All right. So here's the three pictures I took. 
of him. Uh, it's pretty sweet. You got the flash on the first one on the left, going all the way to the right. You know, he's kind of coming at you. I like the demon head a lot. And with that, for some reason, the way it looked, it looked like he was singing an opera or giving a speech. So, you know, his demon head is just really badass. I love it. It's It still has, like, aspects of the Freddy. It's not burn. This one's more like a, again, like skin, muscle, you know, deterioration. And then the back one's kind of weird. I took of him in the background. It's kind of chilling. It looks kind of smaller, but it could just be the coat. All right, next up is Lord Zed. There's two of those. Uh, he's got the sp staff in his hand with a Z. One's coming at him. The other one's from the other side. Pretty cool. He looks very detailed. You know, I thought he was more red in the show, but maybe not. It's been so long since I've watched it. Okay, and then here is uh, Creep Show. The creep with the flash on and off. He still looks cool either way. Uh, the flash off, he has more shadow, which I always think is cool in pictures. Kind of gives it a mysterious look. And then the flash on, there is no shadow. It's just a flash. And he still looks greatly detailed, as you can see. But when he doesn't have it on, you can see the darker colors which i enjoy when it comes to stuff like that so so yeah all right i think that's going to do it for today thank you for watching uh real quick i want to, to do a i guess like a psa when it comes to collecting stuff a lot of people are arguing over stuff in these groups and especially in this facebook group and i don't fucking get it i don't know why they're arguing. Oh yeah, Lord Zed also has this like bean thing for his uh, staff there. Sweet. Uh, I don't get it. You all like the same stuff, and then yet you're calling people who buy more than one, and, and even if they sell or don't sell it, one, one in the box, which I've always been an advocate of. If you want to keep it in the box, keep it in the box. If you want to open it, open it. doesn't matter. It's your stuff. It, you bought it for you, so it doesn't matter about anything else. And that's the thing. Some people buy them, you know, along the line. It could be worth something. I don't know. I have some stuff that's, you know, pretty getting there, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably keep it. I think I will, but no one's business, right? So please, stop acting entitled and think because you love this, this belongs to you. The figures belong to you when you buy them, but you, the fandom is a fandom. Just everybody should like it. But getting on each other's cases and yelling at each other about fucking scalpers and this, just stop. Jesus Christ, stop. Doesn't matter. All right? Buy what you want to buy. We can't buy it because somebody bought it online. That's just the, the fucking luck of the draw, man. I get it. Believe me. I've had to spend more money sometimes for certain older stuff than I really wanted to, but it happens. So anyway, just, just be good to each other, all right? And, uh, you know, thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful weekend and holiday, and I will see you later.